Howdy folks, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of what happens if you survive the glassing beam at the very end of Halo Reach on Mission Pillar Bottom. So, for those of you who haven't played this game before, uh, spoiler alert, at the very end, you're supposed to get on the Mac Cannon and protect the Pillar Bottom from all these phantoms and the glassing beam of the cruiser. And you're supposed to shoot the cruiser to destroy it before it glasses the area and the Pillar Bottom. But if you fail to do so, it will still fire its glassing beam, and after which the screen goes white, and then you die, and then it reverts the last checkpoint. And presumably the pillar bottom is destroyed. Now, I'm sure many people in the past have tried to survive the glassing beam using tricks like armor lock or something like that. But even with armor lock, it won't protect you at all from the glassing beam. You will still die, and the checkpoint will revert. So, first thing before we tackle the question, it's important to note why you actually die. It's not the glassing beam itself that kills you, you're not literally being glassed in the game. There's no like actual beam or explosion hitting you. It's a, uh, it's just an effect really. And what's really killing you is that the, um, the game is scripted to kill you. It, it has nothing to do with the beam itself. It's just when the screen goes white, then a script kicks in and what well, the game just forces you to drop dead. But, what if we use the mod like God Mode? or some other invincibility trick um, to make ourselves invincible, to make ourselves unkillable. Well, that would indeed protect us from scripted death events. And let's find out, well, using this trainer I turn it on and let's find out uh, what happens if uh, we let the cruiser glass us while invincibility is on. So screen turns white and it will actually stay white because we've survived. But while the screen is white, I actually still have control over my character. I can still shoot, I can move around, and so on. But uh, the, the white screen lasts forever. And I know I could, I'm not going to show you guys like an extended white screen. <laughs> That'd just be like annoying to see, I guess. But um, yeah, so that, that's what happens uh, if you survive the glassing beam somehow. You'll just be stuck on a white screen with control of your character. But that, I wasn't satisfied with that. I wanted to see what actually happens behind the white screen. What happens to the rest of the mission, or you know, all the events and everything. So, I modded the game a little bit further, and I took out the script that makes your screen white, uh, or that keeps your screen white. So this time around, when we let the beam fire, our screen will only turn white for a second, and then we're going to see the rest of the sequence of the firing beam, of the glassing beam, I mean. And we're going to see what happens afterwards and everything. So right off the bat, you probably noticed, uh, we got to see quite a few things that we never got to see before, because they've been covered up by the, uh, the white screen at the end, or cut off early by reverting checkpoints because the game kills you. So let's take a look one more time from a better angle and without phantoms shooting at us so you can see exactly what's going on. But the biggest thing that you've probably noticed that we got never got to see before is that after the beam fires, after the screen turns white, there's actually a screen shake effect that we never get to see because, you know, it's all covered up. But it's a pretty uh, cool effect for the glassing like you can see your screen shaking and the glassing beam getting brighter and closer and then it, and it fades out not we, we don't get to see any of that all we ever get to see in normal gameplay is the beam firing and then the screen goes white we don't get to see any of these extra effects that Bungie made which is uh pretty interesting that they would even make that if uh, we weren't intended to see it at all unless at some point we were meant to see it but they decided it wasn't necessary and they just made the screen go white instead but uh, anyways, after we survive the beam, aside from seeing those extra bonus effects, what happens afterwards? Well, nothing, actually. The, uh, the cruiser does stop shooting and the beam fades out, and the cruiser just stays up there and doesn't really do anything else. Uh, all enemy AIs, they still function normally, and even their spawns still function normally. You see, the phantoms and even the banshees, they're all just uh, infinite waves that spawn during this part of the mission. So after you kill them, they will respawn at the same spot and you know keep spawning over and over again. And even though the glassing beam fired and the mission was supposed to end or revert, they uh, they still spawn normally, just fine. You know, everything is still perfectly functional on this mission right now. And uh, even destroying the cruiser is still functional. So here we just like let the cruiser fire again and finish its firing sequence, um, and then we can get on a mac cannon still and. To d destroy the cruiser still but um yeah so really the cruiser fire finishing its firing sequence uh the pillar bottom survives all of that has like no effect on the actual mission itself but um 
Yeah, it's really all just a screen trick or a camera trick to make you think the pillar bottom was destroyed by your inaction, but really nothing actually happens behind the scenes. Um, and then destroying the cruiser still after it's fired its beam has no effect on the cutscene either. Everything proceeds normally. So really, I guess you could say that glassing beam was a total dud and uh, the, all the the pillow on getting destroyed and everything was just, you know, exaggeration by Captain Keys. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Anything else you want to check out or look into, just let me know. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.